quick review of Starlink um, system and Verizon. Verizon gives me a month free and then it's $50 after that depending on what plan you have on your cell phone you can probably get it for even $30 or so versus Starlink you're paying a premium for 110 as now and then $650 for the equipment Verizon gives you the box for free so that already economically Verizon it's a better choice but let's go ahead and see if paying the premium for Starlink makes sense for you or not in my situation I don't have access to fiber optic internet otherwise that would be the preferred choice for everyone it's I guess more economical and fast and reliable but Verizon has been a good internet home provider for me I tried AT&T and T-Mobile and Verizon outperformed them from the test that I run Verizon speed right now it's uh, 25 uh, megabytes per second and this is already running another computer and other devices so right now it's going a little bit faster so I'm running a couple times to make sure that I can get a good estimate let's see how much this one's gonna be so it's about 26 this is the upload So we got about yeah, pretty close. So about 5.6 on upload and 26.6. But the latency is 30 milliseconds. This is the test of Starlink on my computer, and this is about 70, 80. There you go, right there. And then for upload, it's about five and a half, a little bit less. We'll see what comes up. So there we go. So the numbers, and then we got a latency lower than Verizon, 22 milliseconds. I'm gonna try it again and see what comes out. There you go, right there. And then for upload, it's about five and a half. Okay, so there you go. I mean, comparing it, um, you're getting so you're getting quite a bit more internet speed. Uh, you know, we're going from 25 to 70. So I'm running the test again for Starlink, and I noticed that there's a decrease in speed, matching more of a Verizon. Uh, performance and the reason why is I run it again is because I was running other devices with uh, my home internet and so what I end up doing is a change internet name to my old internet and that way all the devices that were connected are plugged back and then I'm running the test again and I have noticed a decrease in speed that it is quite a bit I mean it's even lower than my old internet so I mean at the beginning I was getting great internet but it was because I was only having one computer hooked to this internet so I guess it was able to get more bandwidth but here uh, I have all my devices that were running in the house with my old internet running again and the speed has pretty much matched uh, what's on Verizon. So I'm going to keep it for a few days, test it on other devices, see what the latest is, and then I'll do another video to review again. So just want to do a quick conclusion here. Uh, so overall, uh, I was deceived at the beginning with the Starlink speed. I didn't have any devices connected 
and therefore it was running a lot faster. But once I plugged the rest of the devices that I test and normally run on the house, the speed was significantly decreased, matching or going below what Verizon speed was. Now, I was very surprised the latency on this device is not as bad as satellite. I had satellite in the past and you have a lag um, of like maybe a second or two but not the case with Starlink, so that was great. So it's good, it's a good uh, option for satellite, I will believe, but I have to pay the double of price of Verizon if I go with Starlink, plus I have to pay for 500 or 600 and a half for the equipment, and that's a little bit too much in my opinion. It's paying premium for something that you can just get just as well with Verizon. So anyway, I hope this is helpful to you. I'll continue using both of them and see what my experience is in the future and then post another video. So subscribe to the channel for a follow up. Thank you for watching and have a good day. How much I have paid so far. So I paid a hundred dollar deposit and see maybe you can see it right there. And then 550 for the equipment. So that's about 650. And then there's going to be another payment of $100 by October. Um, so it's quite a bit expensive in my opinion. So it better be better than what I already have.